What'd you see, bud? What is that? Turtle in half. In half? What do you mean half a turtle? But there's one more giant I want to try to get my hands on. It's a tarpon. He's right there. What's up, it's Raj. Thank you for checking out the Iguana Man channel. Today we're gonna to show you some quick tips on how to improve your catches when hunting iguanas. Stay tuned, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this episode. I want to find where iguanas are congregating. You guys have been watching the videos. You guys know that I always say this, but I'm going to say it again. Iguanas love water, plants, and sunlight. So if you find those three things, chances are you can find some iguanas. Now right over here, it's hard to see, but there is a group of iguanas. And it looks like they just coming out right now. Get some food, get some sunlight. And if worse comes to worse, they will escape in the water. Now, usually with a bunch of small ones, you will see bigger ones. So there's a bunch of small ones right there. But if we look over here, there is a bigger one. So that tells me if I keep looking around here, there could possibly be a giant somewhere. So that's tip number one. And lo and behold, we found two bigger iguanas. Seems to be a nice female right there, and we seem to have a male right there. They're right next to each other, so we are gonna try to get at least one, but if we're lucky, we're gonna get both of them. Stay tuned. Okay, we just set up a snare right here on the catch pole. Approach iguana with caution. Do not spook him. Very smart animals. He's right next to the water. He can jump anytime. He's gonna be looking right at us right now. Having a longer catch pole definitely make your job a lot easier. When you get your iguana on, of course, you want to make sure he tires out. Not a bad specimen right here. Let's take a look at this guy. Oh, this is a healthy lizard right here. Very healthy iguana. It appears we have a young male, and that would explain kind of why he's turning orange red. Also, if you look in between his legs right here, he does have these femoral pores. Uh, this iguana right here, maybe this year he's gonna be breeding. You can see him right there. Beautiful, look at him. Gorgeous. Uh, yeah, we just caught it. Subscribe to Iguana Man on YouTube. You'll see more videos. You'll see videos on what I do. Iguana Man? On YouTube. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Leave me a nice comment, too, all right? I sure will. All right. You guys take care. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Apparently, all the other iguanas over here got wind of us. And you can see they're moving away from us. But as soon as they're moving away, more are coming out of the woodworks over here. And that seems to be another male. The males seem to be more macho and less timid than the females we're gonna go ahead reset our snare and we're gonna go see if we can get us one of these males i don't think he's that big but uh we'll make contact with him real quick and see oh yeah look at him check him out and you can look along the fence line there's a bunch of iguanas he seems to be the chosen one though today Oh, and just like that, he's going to go back into the nest. Look at them all. Let's see if we can sneak by him real quick. Got him out the nest. Oh, this is a little guy. <laughs> Whoa. Rambunctious little fella. Could be a break dancer one of these days. Let's take a look at him. He's got a really fat head. Oh. Come here, buddy. Oh, wow, this guy is really strong. Very strong. You can see we interrupted his lunch right there. Dulap is out. He's, he's actually finishing his last bite. Very strong iguana right here. Gorgeous. 
gorgeous one right here, y'all. Okay, we'll bag this guy up and let's continue the, oh, wow. Look, another, a bigger one came out the woodwork. Look at the colors of that one. Spectacular patterns of that one right there. Wow, he's coming out to see what's going on. We were just there, we didn't even see him. That just shows that we're in the right spot, y'all. When you got iguanas like that piled up and they're stacked, we gotta go right now, but we'll, we'll show, we'll go close to this guy. Look how close we are to him. Look. Yeah, yeah. Four chicks. This is snakehead territory, so you can kind of do the math, kind of figure out what happened, unfortunately. But snakeheads are voracious predators. They are out here. Comment down below if you want to see us do a snakehead video. Okay, so on our way to another iguana spot, just want to show you guys, there is these animals here that we're going to say hi to real quick. Hello, Mrs. Cow. But really why I stopped by is I wanted to see this right here. Really big camels. There's one. And apparently these are drone Dari camels? Not quite sure if I pronounced that right. Please do not butcher me in the comments. But they are available for special events if you guys wanted to book camels. Um, this is in obviously in Broward County, South Florida, but look, check them out. Check them out. Wow, you know what's crazy? They have like long necks like giraffes. Kind of looks like a giraffe right there. But it's got a hump like a camel because it is a camel. Hey, buddy. Whoa. Hi. Oh, he's coming. Oh, whoa. He's coming right towards us. He's coming right towards us. Yeah? Wow. Gotta be careful, though, because I know, I know camels like to spit. Things are massive, right? Hey, buddy. Hey, look at those teeth. Look at that mug. I know. Wow. Well, this is a cool little pit stop, but let's continue the iguana action. Just a cool little random thing that I noticed too. Did see a couple dead iguanas on the road and there were birds picking at it. And this is not the first time I've seen this behavior, so. I mean, it kind of sucks that animals are getting hit, but it's kind of good that at least there's animals out here to not let the hit animals go to waste. Thank you, Mr. Birds. Get close to smart ones. not the safest method, but it is effective. Damn, this thing's strong. Oh, he's a monster. Oh, look at all his girlfriends right there. That is ridiculous. Okay, so that's another method that can help you land more iguanas. Guy is so big, I do not want him breaking off. I've been looking for an iguana like this literally all day. And I finally got him. So this is gonna be a very pivotal moment for me. Oh yes. Yes. Got him. There it goes right there, the final product. If you're using the car, try to sneak up on a giant. They're smart, guys. There's a reason how and why they got so big. Not by being dumb. So you gotta step your game up if you're gonna try to go against a smart alpha. All right, we see two giants. It's a big Godzilla. Oh, he's missing a hand. That's crazy. Yeah, he's missing a hand. I seen it just by the way he was walking. There he is right there, big boy. 
These things are strong. Oh, seriously? That boy is straight crimson, red leopard. I'm gonna see if I can get him. Call this place the Iguana Highway. What you mean? Huh? What you talking about? Catch iguanas, boy. Oh, no, no, no. I ain't got time for that. All right. Appreciate that. This is insane. All right. He's gone. We missed our chance. Too much uh, traffic right now. A girl, it's not that big. Alpha female, we'll take her. Gorgeous specimen on the Iguana Highway. Let's go, baby. What'd you see, bud? What is that? In half? Yeah, it's half a turtle. What do you mean, half a turtle? Still alive, no? I don't think so. Oh my gracious, what? Probably got shell shocked and by getting hit by a car or something. Probably. Dang. RIP Mr. Turtle. RIP Mr. Turtle. Mm. Hey, I'm looking for some iguanas, man. You, you I don't? Just, I just saw one right there. You think this is a good spot to try to catch some iguanas? Uh, probably. They jump into the water sometimes. Like Dude, like oh my. Look, look at that one right there. Any ideas on how you think I might be able to catch them? Oh, no, I've never caught iguanas before. Uh, maybe try bait? Throw some bait at them? Maybe. I don't know what they eat, though. All right, I'm going to try it out, bud. Probably like insects or something. All right. Thanks, man. No problem. I got to go home. My pants are gone. Oh, are you? All right, man. Take care. Yeah, iguana just posted up right there. These iguanas are smart, but obviously they're not smart. Obviously they're not smarter than us. Or are they? So that's going to lead to another tip. You got a higher chance if an iguana is on some kind of structure. If he's on rocks, if he's on a pylon. Oh, wow. There's a, oh my God, there's a school of mullet right there. We need that for bait. Come here, buddy. And oh my God, there's a black gar and a school of mullet. Hold on. This is perfect. Oh shit. We can get that school of mullet. That's going to be the come up of the year, boys. Hopefully we got some. Oh man, I've only got a couple of them. We got two. But there's one more giant I want to try to get my hands on. And he's right there. He's right there. Look at all, look at how bright orange he is. Look how fluorescent green his females are. Oh yeah, I think he's I think he's the alpha.
Let's see if we can teach him a fat lesson. He's shell-shocked right now. He doesn't know what's going on. Oh, wow. Wow, highlighter orange. I don't know if you've seen his females. They were like highlighter green, highlighter blue. Ones in there. And I think we got them in the perfect amount of time, guys, because it, it is definitely about to start coming down any second right now. So we're probably gonna end the portion of the hunt on this guy right here. Gorgeous specimen. Okay. Thank you so much. That's pretty awesome. I'm on YouTube as well. You, you guys can follow me if you guys want. Uh, the channel's called Iguana Man. Iguana Man. All right, people, we got out there uh, just in the nick of time. Uh, stay tuned, we're gonna roll some bonus footage. We're about to go link up with Roddy from the Extreme Pond Stars. Uh, we're gonna see if we can go fishing underneath some bridges and see if we can catch some fish. So y'all stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this bonus content. As you see, the weather has not let up, not a single bit, it's all good. We're over here picking up Roddy from the Extreme Pond Stars because we are gonna try to do some bridge fishing, y'all. Apparently, that's the new thing that we're doing right now when we're not iguana hunting. We're trying to target monster fish underneath the bridge. Real quick, though, let me show you what we're working with. Yeah, buddy. Got us some live shiners. Beautiful baits. And we have two mullet in there, so hopefully that's enough to get some kind of bite from some kind of monster. We'll see you there. Okay, so we just picked up the Extreme Pond Stars. Check What's it out. Good? What's good, y'all? Let's go. About to, do some bridge, about to do some bridge fishing today. You yes, already know that's where the monsters be at, supposedly. Only one way to find out. We had to go get the fish expert right here. Yes, sir. He's got his rigs. I got my rig. We got bait. Weather looks good, and the fish should be under that bridge. Keyword is should. We're gonna find out though. Y'all stay tuned. Bonus footage right here. Hope you enjoy. Stuck and tribe gonna be waiting. It's just to ambush the bait. And it's all about the right place at the right time. So stay tuned because we actually might just come across them. And we're gonna bring it to you live in action. Somewhere, somewhere over the rainbow lies some fish. Yo, just pulled up to the spot. Look at this bridge right here. Just look at it, look how beautiful it is. It's got this beautiful clear water. Water's kind of high. It just rained, it's actually still raining. And if you look under there, that's what we call paradise. Oh yeah, this is what we were talking about guys. Each and every one of those pylons is potentially a hiding spot for a fish, all right? They can just be chilling right under there, waiting for an easy ambush. Actually, I personally hooked monster tarpon underneath the same exact bridge using the DOA bait buster. So without a doubt, I already know for a fact there's huge monsters lurking right in that water. Oh my god! Ah! 